Okay, well I wanted to take just a few minutes to kind of give a, an overview uh, or a recap of the Ohio hunt. At this point the Ohio hunt has not produced a deer on the ground. I saw a ton of deer sign, a lot of buck rubs, scrapes. I did have an opportunity to harvest a seven point on two different occasions in the same sit, um, about two or three hours apart. And I also could have harvested a doe uh, that same morning, um, but I elected to pass. Uh, I do have some really good bucks on my trail camera pictures. So with that in mind, I didn't want to harvest the seven point or that doe. I'd really like to harvest one of those bucks. Um, I believe I have, uh, I think two 10 point and uh, one nine point uh, on my trail camera pictures that are um, decent bucks that I would like an opportunity at. So, so the difficult thing for me is this. When I started self-filming my hunts, I committed to myself that I was gonna post all of my hunts on my channel. Um, the good, bad, the ugly, didn't matter. Uh, everything was going to get posted on my channel and uh, I was just going to show everything. So with that being said, I don't want to post a bunch of videos of the same thing. Um, me scouting or me sitting in the saddle and not seeing deer, that type of thing. I, I don't want to bore all of you, but at the same time, uh, um, I don't want to skip over all that content uh, as if none of that existed. So I want to be honest with you, the viewers, and uh, those of you who are supporting my channel. Uh, I am going to consolidate a bunch of these sits and a bunch of these days into this video. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I can still get a deer on the ground. Uh, right now I'd rather come home empty handed and still have the opportunity to harvest a buck when I go back. I appreciate you guys sticking around. I appreciate your support. Uh, thanks for following along and uh, sending me uh, some positive comments. I appreciate that. So here's the video. public land day two uh, so here's what's going on today when I went to bed last night uh, there was no rain in the forecast when I got up this morning it was raining here when I checked the weather when I got to the parking lot this morning uh, this grass field out in front of me had two or three deer in it and then about ten minutes later a uh, single deer crossed the road they all were heading into this little section of timber so the game plan today is I'm just going to move really slow. I'm going to still hunt my way through this woods. I just jumped two deer right here. I don't know if they were bedded or if they were just standing there. You see some pretty cool things when you're out here in the woods. Somebody made them a homemade cot with a fire ring right up here on this peninsula overlooking this huge valley. All right, well, good morning. Uh, this is day three for Ohio Public Land. I got a bunch of uh, scrapes and rubs in front of me. On my way in, I jumped two deer. All right, so basically I've been scouting all, all day and uh, I found some good sign, put out a trail camera. Um, I'm just trying to get boots on the ground and cover as much land as I can and try to learn what's going on here. If I had a cameraman with me, we could walk and be super quiet and it would be a lot easier, but this isn't THP here. This is uh, this is low income Mad Hunts Adventures, so. I don't know what that is. I'm not a farmer. I just jumped a monster buck. Oh, I just jumped a buck. He was 
was right. He was right there on the edge of that carrot field or whatever that is. I see a truck just parked on the road down there, on the dirt road, and I see two hunters walking up the edge of the woods over here. I'm not sure where they're going. And I kind of don't feel like starting to get set up and have one of them come sit here right next to me. All right, well, we've been up in the tree for a while. The buck that I jumped the other night was right up here in the field. set up at 5.40 in the morning, so I'm a good hour in the dark. I just heard some noise behind me, and I look back, and there's a flashlight. It's the first hunter I've seen back here. Seven ten. That doe came through about five minutes after that buck. That's a good sign. We got deer moving. Now I just need that ten pointer to come through here. That would truly be a blessing. I prayed on my way in this morning that I would see some deer. Both of those were about 30 yards away within shooting range. Just not what I'm looking for.
came out of the bedding right down in front of me, and that's what I thought. I thought he was still in there. I just ranged where he was. He was only 25 yards. I easily could have shot him. <laughs>